Hi, everybody. Uh, so, um, we will have a session with a short presentation of uh, Theotica's group, what we do, why do we exist, and I will present the result of an international survey we made to understand better the participation of women in the OpenStreetMap community in, the, um, in all the countries, and their level of leadership. And after that, I, I only take uh, 20 minutes, and after that, we will invite you to participate in a brainstorming activity to um, help us to have ideas and uh, commitments to work on uh, diversity in OpenStreetMap community. So, uh, Geochicas is a group um, of women from Op OpenStreetMap Latin America community. Uh, it's a young group. We exist uh, for one year and a half only. Um, I'm Celine Jacquin, Mapeadora in OpenStreetMap. So, uh, why, why this group exists? Um, we, we were part, we are part of a Latin American community, which is a community uh, very active in, in a chat, in a Telegram chat, uh, with the participation of um, more or less 100, 150 people from uh, every country of Latin America. And some days in the um, occasion of the organization of uh, State of the Map LATAM, in Sao Paulo, we realized we were only five women in this group expressing ideas, expressing opinion, and participating in, in the organization of activities. And we realized uh, it, may, it might be a problem, it might be an expression of the unbalance of uh, gender's participation in, in the community. So uh, in this moment, we decided to organize in this same state of the map in Sao Paulo, a panel, a first panel and a group, a network of women, of women attending this event to start to think. It was, we, we just wanted to think. And we also um, thought about these statements. We, you, you all know we don't have really um, um, reliable statistic on genders on, in OpenStreetMap, but uh, we all know this number. It's an estimation that only 3% of OpenStreetMap mappers are women. So uh, we try to think to how, how to improve this participation and grow uh, women participation in the community. Uh, we also um, start to think that uh, at, the creation, at the data creation level, it, it can be a real problem to have only the vision of one gender and one um, uh, profile of, uh, of people who are white men and uh, um, um, North American and European what, white men making the data, deciding which are the uh, agenda of OpenStreetMap, which are um, interest, uh, point of interest. Um, so this is the state of the map in Sao Paulo. Um, in this panel, we invited people from the attendees to, to sit with us in the table and to, to talk. Uh, it was successful. We all talked about the, our perception of the problem. Uh, a part of the attendees considered that uh, there is no problem with the balance of gender in the community. There is no problem with the data. But it, we had a good debate. And at the end of this day, we were a group of uh, women uh, with 25, maybe 20, 25 women. We start a chat and we start to dialogue. And we are now, one year and a half after, 150 women in, in this chat with um, maybe um, 30 to 50 women active, expressing, uh, sharing information, um, promoting the participation in, in events on OpenStreetMap and on any, any topic on open technologies and open data in Latin America. Uh, this is a map now of the country represented. So we have a large participation in Latin America and also in Spain and other countries of, um, of Europe. So the language is Spanish, but uh, we, we also integrate English if, if needed. We have also women from India. 
So our objectives in the group is to empower women in the community in order to have more projects led by women. This is a point, point one. And projects focused on women issues in society and daily life is a point two. Uh, we want to enlarge the OpenStreetMap Women's Network, so we, we have a permanent effort in social network to share ideas and to invite women to participate, and, or just to be observator in the group and uh, benefiting from the information, from the reflection we have there. Um, having more participation of women in OpenStreetMap and, te and technologies activity, so we try to have to each in each uh, global state of the map, a participation of one geoticas, and in regional state of the map, we also try to have the participation of one or several geoticas. We also create more spaces in which we can discuss the role, representation, and participation of women. So. Um, we try to have presence in the, in the events, but we also try to have the type of activities we will have after my presentation. So a reflection panel or a brainstorming activity to make you community think about, about it, not only between women. <clears throat> we also discuss bet, uh, better codes of conduct in the community. And um, this, this year and a half, we have led uh, four main projects. So I will present uh, them very quickly. Um, the most important uh, for us is the International Gender Representation Survey in OpenStreetMap. I will present it at, at the end. The Streets of Women, uh, it's a mapping project uh, where we, we check the balance of names of women and men in the cities. Um, we, we have um, participated these last months in a project granted by HOT uh, to map the earthquake recovery and gender violence in the context of crisis in Oaxaca, Mexico after the earthquake of October 2017. And we have a permanent effort of training, peer-to-peer -peer training in, the, in our chat online. Um, peer to peer and with uh, allies companies, uh, Mapbox, Carto, and um, other. So, this is uh, the Streets of Women. Uh, this is a map of the cities who have participated in, in the development of the script and the application of this script to their cities. This is an example uh, in Mexico City. So, um, this, uh, this script only filter and represents the, the, the streets. Um, in yellow, um, yeah, in yellow you can see the streets with a name of women. So uh, this is, uh, in general, you have a very large gap between men's streets and women's streets. In green, the main streets. And we make the link when we have an article in Wikipedia, we make the link uh, between the name and the article. So we also make a balance of the um, the names that don't have or that have an article in Wikipedia. The second project is a mapping uh, in the crisis context in Oaxaca. So um, with the, the micro grant of HOT, we covered with um, street level images, since it's uploaded to Mapillary and OpenStreetCam, almost 15 towns in this zone. Uh, the objective is to visualize and to measure the unrecovery um, of destruction. The, the zone was very affected by the earthquake and the state uh, hasn't done a lot. So uh, it's our job objective to visualize that. And with uh, more qualitative work and research, we try to um, investigate um, the presence of violence, gender events in the community. Uh, we are not able now to share definitive results, but um, in some months, I hope. And we have so a perm permanent effort of um, training. Uh, so we had a course, um, basic and advancing with, with Carto. All the courses are um, saved in YouTube. So um, in the moment we, we give the training, we want, we want it to be interactive for women, but at, at the end, it's totally available for anyone. 
Um, we are about to organize a um, basic and advanced course with Mapbox. And in, within the community, we had a course on GitHub, and QGIS. The um, technical level is very variable in the community, so we had trainings on very basic tools and uh, very advanced tools also in coding. And uh, that's it. So now I'll present some of the results of uh, our survey. <coughs> we have the participation of 250 people from all the world. We translated the, um, the survey in five languages, which was a little complex to, <laughs> to process at the end. Uh, this is a map of these countries. The main participants came from United States, Brazil, Spain, and Germany, and United Kingdom, and these uh, other countries. We had a participation of um, near 57% of men, 40% uh, of women, one trans transgender pers person, and well, other people who didn't want to communicate that. I read the um, question. Um, have you ever felt difficulty expressing your point of view or felt that your knowledge or area of interest were of little relevance compared to the men in your community? So the main part of the women consider that yes, but um, a good part consider that not, a good part that sometimes. The transgender per person also consider that it was difficult. Um, this is an um, answer by men. So have you ever experienced the difficulty expressing points of view, knowledge, or area of interest to certain members of your community? The, major the majority consider that no. Have you ever felt hostility from fellow men in the OSM community? So men consider that no, uh, women consider that sometime, or oh, yes. And what uh, did you feel free to communicate what happened when they are felt hostility? Um, so men know because they don't feel hostility. And women consider that uh, yes, they, fe they feel free to communicate and sometimes just sometimes. Have you ever felt hostility from fellow men mates towards women or towards a gender underrepresented group in the OpenStreetMap community? Men <coughs> consider that no. Uh, that means they don't feel hostility towards themselves, but they don't uh, see hostility towards the, the other people too. That's interesting to understand. Um, do you think it's necessary to have certain codes and policies of conduct that favor the majority and both uh, different gender consider that yes, it would be good. Actually, men are most um, to consider that it would be good. Do you think the OpenStreetMap community has a balanced gender representation? The majority agree to consider that no. And do you think that affects how the data is generated and activities are conducted? Um, the majority consider that yes, but there is not a big difference between with the person that consider that no. Do you think the vision of all everybody is represented by the geographical elements on the map? So we have uh, the same proportion of um, answers considering the previous question. They consider that no. And these questions are about participation and leadership. So um, in the communities, in the local communities, national communities, international communities, and other open code and um, open data communities, how is the, the women participation versus the main participation? Um, in general, in, in each scale of community, people consider that the participation of women is very low. But we can see that um, in local community, um, the participation of women is 
considered a little more important than in other communities, national and international communities. We see the same thing in the leadership representation of women. Um, in general, it is considered that as low and in each community, but in the local community, it tends to be a little more important. So that was a short interpretation of, of the quantitative data of the survey. Uh, this data is available if you want to know it better. And we also had other consideration. <coughs> so in qualitative questions, uh, I made um, a short synthesis of opinion. Um, women tend to comment that the sexist tone in the channels demotivates their participation, talking about a mailing lists, chats, and forum. Uh, women feel a systematic target of discrimination in the channel when they express opinions, divergent opinion. Um, they, the people the, who um, who make attention calls are usually attacked if they are women and not if, uh, if they are men. Uh, the expression of experience is low accepted. Women are considered uh, in general as novice by default. And they propose, they consider we need to define codes, sanctions, and reporting mechanisms. Um, and they propose to have specific calls to, for, for participation in activities to empower women, um, promote women networks and uh, private spaces to, um, to have more em empowerment, um, to en uh, enhance peer-to-peer -peer trainings, and to have attention to mapping project issues that uh, with impact on women quality of life. The men comment that they consider that discrimination is not based on gender, usually, and that it's very clear we have a cultural domination of European and North American men, and that's the more discrimination, discrimination basis. They feel hostility by a specific profile um, towards each gender and each people that is a fanatic mapper, very experimented, versus novice. So they feel that this is the point of the violence and the aggressivity in the OpenStreetMap channels. Uh, they consider, in general, that uh, if we don't have a formal impediment to participate, there is no discrimination and there, there is no unbalanced um, determined by, by the community. And that the lack of interest or the lack of participation from women must be respected because it's just uh, a desire. Um, they consider also that uh, th they have doubts on the impact on, in the map of this imbalance um, and lack of diversity. Their propositions are that uh, we, would ha we could have attention calls about aggressive tones in the channel, and in general they are ignored. So women, women are attacked when they call uh, attention, men are ignored. Uh, they wouldn't separate gender, but do more uh, participatory activities to invite more people in general to participate, and as an effect, have more women participation, but any, any other gender and any other community. Um, they consider that working on women is like victimi victimizing women. Um, they prefer to raise awareness in general, and focus activity on diversity in general, not just on gender. And um, both gender consider that hostility is uh, general in OpenStreetMap channel. It generally came from, come from high-level mappers, and it demotivates um, participation. Everybody agree with that. Uh, all gender notice specific hostility toward people asking to change the tone. And there is, so the um, consideration is that we urgently need moderation in channels. Uh, we need to advocate for courtesy values more than conduct codes and awareness on integration and support to novices. 
uh, need for integration of diversity in general, not based in gender, uh, having an inclusive language and defend an inclusive language, define codes, sometimes define codes of conduct, and having a awareness against hierarchies between advancing mappers and uh, novices, and between different cultures. That's it. So I invite you now to participate in a brainstorming we will do. We will put their um, material to think together. Heather will help me to explain the activity. So please don't leave. Yeah. <coughs> if you have a question, maybe I can give 10 minutes. Mm while we install the material? Sure. Yeah. First, um, just a real round of applause for Geotikas. I mean, <laughs> it's, really, it's really important. And so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So questions, you said? Questions before we start? Questions, comments, hands? Hi, Rory. Um, hi, yeah, uh, again, thanks, you're, you're, you're doing uh, great stuff, and you kind of covered some of this, but I think it's important to remember um, we should be inclusive of uh, non-binary genders as well, so it's not just uh, not just two, there's people who, who aren't men and, and aren't women, so I, th I think it's nice to do that. I mean, you do cover some of that. Um, you had in your survey, I can't remember how it was actually written, but uh, y you presented it as men, women, and transgender, which is not a gender. <laughs> That's yeah. not how. It, but I, I think that was in the results. So just uh, yeah, that's not great. Um, uh, I, another advice I'd have with um, uh, if, if you're doing a thing for women, it, it might be handy sometimes to say like trans women are women, just to to remind people that, that that's how you stand on that. Um, so that's good. Uh, and I suppose. <laughs> Uh, I, I agree that code of conducts are great, and I, you know I'm, I'm on a list that has one. Um, and I think it's important to to remember to know how they work and what they mean. Um, so it, it, societal education is is good. Uh, otherwise, it's just a bit of paper. Uh, and okay, I'm going to go there. Uh, for example, the hot summit is taking place in a place where it's illegal to be gay, and they thought it was a safe space and claimed it would be a safe place for. Uh, for LGBTQ people, which in my opinion means they don't know what that means. So I think just having a code of conduct is often not enough. You sort of need, everyone needs to know what it means. It's like education and the community about, about what we want to do and, and, and all that. So I think it's important to keep that in mind. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, we had uh, this, um, this debate in the group at the start of, the, of developing the survey. Um, the survey in the beginning was fought to Latin America and we, we decided to, to, start, to start the dialogue with men and women because the reflection is so low developed at, the, at this moment that it was the first step, but uh, I agree it's a weakness. There are other questions? Uh, I think we may improve it <laughs> because it's a little short, it's a little simple. Um, I was a little disappointed about uh, the answer, the number of answers, because we, we translated it in five languages and we, we only had, uh, um, except in English and Spanish, we had less than 20 answers. So. I think it's a, it's a big question to develop a survey and to think about the diffusion of it and maybe we could ask for help of the foundation, it's, it's a good idea, yeah, it would be good. So when we talk about diversity, is Gender diversity meant, or is it understood in more broad sense? Sorry, can you repeat? If we talk about diversity, is it only gender diversity meant? Uh, the, the survey, yes, is about gender diversity. 
I agree there are other diversity questions, but it's about gender. Maybe we can, if you have other questions, I can chat with you after. We can start the brainstorming session. Again, thanks to Celine and to the Geo Chicas. So she asked us to, well, we decided that we would try and collaborate a bit. Um, over the last um, days, we've had a number of conversations about community in a number of different sessions. And I think there's some really bright ideas about how we might grow OpenStreetMap, not just in terms of gender diversity, but in terms of other kinds of diversity, whether it be global, global community or language. And so there's an exercise that um, we've done before in other communities, and I thought it might be helpful for us to have that more productive. And let me tell you what will happen with it. I'll tell you about the exercise. Rory, um, not Rory, pardon me. <laughs> Joss is not here right now, but he's going to hold a, a, a birds of a feather tomorrow. So the discussion is, again, we're going to come up with some brainstorm ideas, and then the discussion tomorrow will be more about what do we do with that. And so just know that there's a few of us kind of co-working to try and kind of keep the, the vibe in the conversation. So there are sticky notes by different colors. Okay, and so what will happen with this data that we're gonna collect from you? We're gonna document it and give it back to you, that's one. Two, so there's a sticky note that says I will, which is a statement around what will you do in this community? It could be small, it could be like, you know what, I'm gonna monitor my own tone and be positive. That's a Heatherism, okay? Or I will talk to my local chapter and ask them how they feel or what they think is important. Another one example, so that's one color sticky note. The next one, thanks Kate for demoing. The next one is, we should stop. Okay, so there's some things that we think we should work on, right? So what should we stop as a collective community? And the last one is, we should continue, or we should start, right? So these are kind of three actions. And so we're gonna use these boards because, thank you for, hacking the system here. So statements, it's more statements. So you can make a sentence with a verb and a noun if you so choose. Um, if you put it in another language, um, we can use Google Translate to translate that if we don't know the language, but feel free um, because we are from different folks in different places. And I'm sorry, I only speak English and some really poor French. Um, so the, the actions are pink for I will do, blue for we should stop, and yellow or green, because I think there's yellow and green, for we should start or we should continue. So we're after lunch, so we thought we'd get you up. So if you want to stand up, I know we have to ask you to divorce your laptops and devices. You could say it, or we could write it for you. You could write it yourself. If you want to write it in private yourself, and then we just put it on the board, that's cool too. We want to kind of honor how you want to transact. So how would you like to do this? Would you like to come on up? Would you like to come on up or would you like some sticky notes at your desks? Yes, no. Yep. 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 Okay, so. All right, can you help us then? Can we have a couple of helpers to pass them around? Because there's three colors and it's going to take a little bit. And yeah, let's do it anonymously, then we'll just make a stack. So I want to honor everyone's privacy. I forget that I'm a little bit of a loud mouth. I'm okay saying everything aloud. You've seen my, you've seen my posts. I want to honor that. <laughs> Anybody else want to say something? Thank you. 
So once we write all these ideas out or some ideas around what we should do, what we should stop, and what we should continue, we can read some of them out, but we could also ask the question, what's missing? You know, or what should we add? And so these ideas, again, are going to go into a boff tomorrow, a birds of a feather, and then we have some ideas of what we might do with it next in terms of how to improve. How are we doing? We need some more colors over here. I think we're out of the blue. And over here, I've only hit them with the pink, so if you have, thanks Gregory, much appreciated. I have some backup orange. Thank you very much. Got colors, Got things. Cheers. Nobody told you we'd ask you to do deep thinking here, right? I usually make people stand up and dance, or ask them nicely, actually.
Sticky notes don't have feelings. You're more than welcome to destroy as many as you like so that I don't have to carry them back to Geneva. Thank you. Oh, you want me to use the mic? Oh. All right. So did you want us to read these for you, or did you want to come up and read? Just read. Sit down. All right. That's what I see. Okay. My friends who are here, who wants to guest speak? Hey, Janet. What's your, nope. Hey. No, no, just some highlights. Hmm? Well, I think they want to be calm. Yeah, so the li- Okay, so maybe you can read there's there's live stream. Do you want to read the we should? Okay? Okay. We should start or continue. To recognize if you're doing more harm than good when providing your own agenda. We all come to the community for different reasons, stay for different reasons, and care about different things. But sometimes you have to pause and appreciate others' value before chastising them. We should continue raising awareness on this issue. We should start including other sectors, such as children and PWDs, to be more visible on the map. We should continue to improve our openness towards newcomers. We should promote our allies. We should continue supporting initiatives like Let Girls Map and OSM Girls. We should do the survey every year. Talking about success and progress, not dragging back up old mistakes, 
particularly if people have made effort to change and be more inclusive. Having safe spaces for women to chat and collaborate, talk and help each other discuss and tackle similar issues being faced. We should start continue considering the LGBTQIA uh, in our own mapping projects. There's more than two genders and all are important. Hearing each other out, even if you don't agree with the person. Continue marketing OSM to special interest groups that have a more balanced makeup. Focus more effort on the racial inequality that exists, preventing marginalized communities and communities of color from joining the OSM community. I.e. get involved in STEM or high school education, i.e. programs that target education for low-income marginalized communities. Uh, OSM girls should continue. Tell specific people that we value their story. Tell them to submit a talk to the conference. Add a new tag to define the gender of the names of the elements. Example, street names. Insist on respectful language, parentheses, moderation. OSM girls should continue. We should for formalize a code of conduct. We should have a safe place to report code of conduct issues. Appoint moderators on mailing lists. We should have diversity as an ongoing topic and set goals. We should start a formal and confidential way to report harassment, harassment in or on OSM. Be mindful of how inclusion of one group for a particular program element might exclude other marginalized groups. Continue to actively engage with all minorities to increase profile. Appreciate more other people from other cultures. Give the mic to a woman first at every Q&A session at State of the Map. Having regular surveys on this, have a shorthand for calling out our microaggressions, similar to plus one, likes, up, down, vote, etc. Rationale, some small minor cases of discrimination come from ignorance, carelessness, rather than outright malice. Calling those out is justified, but unfortunately sometimes raises tensions rather than diffuses them. We should start having chapters per country of GeoChicas. Regional Mapathon Month, uh, example, Maptober. We should start having a funding board where groups can highlight projects which need funding. Some of us might be able to help them out. Particularly, this will help all genders seek equal access. Excellent. <laughs> so we're doing a lot of things, and there's a lot of good ideas there. And I asked Rory to be our We Should Stop so he can do the grr voice. Oh, dear. Okay. <coughs> okay, we should stop. This is like, you know, when you're on Twitter, the, the opinions are not the opinions of my employer, um, i.e. me. Uh, we should stop cuddling rudeness slash excusing rudeness. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, we should stop ranking edits and publishing this as a way of showing commitment uh, to the cause. We're all volunteers, but maybe our skills are also diverse. Um, uh, Useful, uh, useful and toxic discussions slash retaliation to different points of view. Yeah, we should stop unuseful. Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, we should stop looking at OSM as a tech project. Uh, we should stop making personal attacks and instead listen to what others have to say. Uh, we should stop judging other members on their motives. Uh, we should stop uh, this, I can't read that, disengaging other genders on the maps, this, I, I'm not sure uh, what that says. Uh, we should stop using abusive language when communicating. Um, we, uh, we should stop 
focusing on gender division and start looking at diversity as a broader conversation. Well, that's kind of intersectionality right there. Um, we should stop pretending it isn't a problem. I, I can't read that. We should stop uh, generalizing on nationality. Yeah, well, intersectionality there. Uh, we should, sorry, I probably shouldn't give my own comments. These are my comments. Um, we should stop pointing fingers and stereotyping whole organizations slash groups as representative of everyone's opinion. Um, we should stop paying OSMF member dues until there is a way to report harassment. Well, I, th I think you can, you can just, yeah, I think you can do that anyway, but um, uh, we should stop making other people uneasy, encourage participation. Uh, we all have different points of interest. Uh, <laughs> and we should stop repeatedly, and that's underlined, raising past mistakes when people are trying their absolute hardest to address issues. There are lots of more positive ways to participate. Uh, we should stop conflating OSM issues with uh, OSS, open source software, developer community issues. This binds us to the quote, women in tech, end quote, issues that, uh, that are not in general, that are not general OSM issues. Um, and then we should stop compromising on the rights of marginalized people and have zero tolerance for discrimination. Uh, yeah, so that's them. It's hard, isn't it? Well, when you're doing something out of it. It's hard. <laughs> and you're writing. Maybe we should have writing class. It's your turn. <laughs> Just going to read the I will do things. How you doing? Are you napping yet? No? I'm not making you dance. I'm not asking you to dance. I can't make you to do anything. So... So I start. I will notice diversity and lack of diversity where I did not think of it in the past. I will think about how I'm privileged and listen to the marginalized voices. I will look up whether OSM already has a code of conduct, collaborate on a community group, uh, call out code of conduct issues on mailing lists like uh, IRC, etc. Um, hold more women in opposition map mapping parties. I will make a strong effort to bring more diversities, uh, gender and other, to OpenStreetMap community. I will pointing out clearly when the tone turns unacceptable. I will do more is, is of use tool for community. I will listen to the concern of women in OpenStreetMap. I will do advocate mapping activities on map patterns uh, that will encourage inclusive participation of all genders and sectors. I will join my local chapter and my community of country of origin to increase women presence. Um, I will treat others with respect and follow code of conduct, more involved in discussions. Uh, I will make safe, safe spaces and places for the LGBTQIA as part of including diversity in OpenStreetMap and in helping the community as well. I will encourage more women in my community to join and participate in OpenStreetMap. Uh, this was Rez, yeah. Um, if we stop to insulting men, women role model is the most important way to strengthen women. Okay, so... Um, we will close this activity, inviting you to join and uh, to continue the debate, joining the mailing list of diversity that the Foundation has. Everybody know has to join the mailing list? Yeah? Okay. And for uh, female gender, you can integrate uh, Geoticas too. The main language is Spanish, but we, we, always, we always switch to English when necessary. And... Um, we would like to build a working group on gender, so the mailing list on diversity is important to start 
to share specific ideas to start on working on that. Do you want to add something? A working group on community? Yeah. Okay. On diversity? On, diversity? on community? Please. On all of those things? All right. So we have two minutes, right? So I thought we could just thank GeoChicas again for starting fires. And thank each of you for thinking about what we will do, large or small, what we should stop, and what we should start to continue. You're more than welcome to come by and take a look. Again, I will document this and I'll share it on the diversity mailing list. Um, and as well, Joss is gonna have a session on community building tomorrow. So we'll give him that intel on what we learned here today. But just thanks for being present. And if you have any reflections or further questions for Geo Chicas or for Celine, um, you're more than welcome to ask as well. Comments, questions, reflections, coffee, C O. Thank you all. Thank you, Jeanette.